Mike Moore Media, the first place to hear Rockingham County news and information. I always enjoy talking to our mayor in Eden, Neville Hall, and let's do that right now. He's on the line. Hey, Mayor. Hey, Mike. How you doing? I'm doing great. Well, Neville, good things are happening. I know we've uh, had several ribbon cuttings with new businesses in the last couple of weeks and getting ready for more. There's one today, as a matter of fact. But, um, gee, it's a, it's a positive time around the city, isn't it? It is. And I think that uh, due to the COVID, we haven't been able to keep up with the ribbon cuttings at, throughout the uh, pandemic. So they sort of backed up on us. And now all of a sudden we're, we're having an event every day or every other day it seems like which is a wonderful thing to have new businesses coming into town so it really is excited to to keep having them so we'd love to have more and you know i was talking to uh some of the merchants uh downtown uh well what what the new the new label i guess is going to be uptown eden from what i'm hearing from Mm -hmm. them uh but talking to some of the uh uptown eden merchants this week uh there's a real uh entrepreneurial spirit uh, there isn't there there, yeah, that, that's this is uh, like I said, an incredible time in our lives where we've never had uh, to experience what we're going through, and it says a lot about the merchants, so the, the the people who are taking chances and opening businesses and trying to help our city uh, be a more attractive place to to live and work, and mm-hmm. uh, they just. Um, it's just a good time to be in Eden. It really is, yeah. And uh, and more good news coming soon. We'll uh, hear about that, I understand. Um, but let me ask you um, about uh, just the, um, the, the the good things that are happening that we're, we're talking about here in ribbon cuttings and all of that. And I'm looking ahead to next Thursday, October 1st, when we'll have the um, really the open house, I guess, for Night Owl National Stoneworks there in the former Kmart building. How neat is that? Yeah, this, this property had been vacant for... 25 years probably Mm -hmm. i can't remember exactly when they closed but uh the eden mall was basically an eyesore for a long time and uh and ron hutchison who owns night owl construction uh, approached us about uh would it be possible to use the kmart building for light industrial but of course we were excited to have anybody interested in using that property again and uh he's actually taken that and made it into a state-of-the-art granite cutting and cabinet building uh shop there as well as he bought the rest of the mall, except for the the end where the antique shop is. He bought the rest of the mall, and is in the process of turning that into a business center. And uh, it's it's just a good it's a shot in the arm for the mall and and for the whole city. And he's a very successful uh, granite business that uh, is going to employ uh, thirty or forty people right off the bat in Eden mm-hmm. with new jobs and. Uh, He's done a great job remodeling that mall and especially the Kmart building and, and making it a, a second use for that, a second life for that property. And, and we're excited to have him here. He's he's a visionary and, and he's obviously been successful in his business and I think he'll continue to be. And this is an expansion of his other properties. He, I think he has a place in Charlotte as well, if not one in Greensboro. But, uh, yeah, these are... Uh, established business that that's going to be a, a real asset to Eden. So we're excited to, to go do the tour and open house. I've, I've actually been through it with him during the construction. I'm looking forward to seeing it now that it's complete. And you can go, you, you can find it if you just look for the airplane stuck up on the roof. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You won't find <laughs> any other uh, building with that in the area. Yeah. Uh, no, I hope not. <laughs> and the, um, the uh, tours and everything, that will be open to the public October 1st. Uh, right after that ribbon cutting, I believe, uh, through the afternoon. Mm-hmm. So people, everyone can see that, what we've been looking at uh, for for months now as that all comes together. Yeah, that's exciting for mm-hmm. sure. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, I wanted to get an update from you. I know this was mentioned in the um, this month's Eden City Council meeting, the Matrimony Creek Nature Trail. Uh, that's still kind of in limbo at the moment, I guess. Well, the thing is... Um it's a it's a one mile trail and and of course the the last the last section of it ends up at the at the dam where the waterfall is it's the most attractive piece of that trail that people want to go and and visit out there at the water and uh that section the last quarter of a mile was severely damaged in the flood last year or earlier this year mm-hmm. and 
the repair for that, the way to repair it permanently, or at least <laughs> better than having to do it every year or two, would require some permits from the state for the, uh, the EPA and things, because it's, it involves a creek and, and moving moving uh, possibly wildlife around to get it to where it's outside of the more dangerous flood zone. So there's the, the process is in, in progress to get that last quarter open. We are seriously considering and have looked at opening the first three quarters and just having it, you know, a three-quarter mile track, which would be a mile and a half round trip, and yeah. while we wait for it, because that, that part is, is basically, it, it, you know, it needs some attention now, but it, it just needs to be a little bit of cosmetic work, and we can open three-quarters of it without having to dis- disturb any of the creek. So we're talking about, that's why it keeps coming up. We're trying to figure out if anything has developed with the last quarter or not, and then make a decision about when we'll, when or if we'll ever be able to open the last quarter. And if not, can we go ahead and do the first three quarters? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, I know, yeah, that does seem to, to come up uh, in in the meeting uh, each month, perhaps. And I know mm-hmm. uh, Terry Shelton was talking about um, maybe some environmental concerns as well mm-hmm. and um, maybe in uh, something that, I guess, the state, where what you're waiting on them. Yeah. Well, I mean, and the, um, the fact is it's the uh, sewer line that runs through there that we have to maintain anyway. Mm-hmm. I mean, it has to be cleared and, and accessible by vehicle anyway. So um, we're going to have that trail through there. It's just a matter of can we get it open where it's safe for the public to, to use. And, and when it was open, it was being used a whole lot. So oh, yeah. We, we want to get it back. We do want to get it open. And the majority of that, I mean, not just the majority, but almost all of that was funded by Duke Energy through a grant. Mm-hmm. So. We just need to uh, figure out if we can get it open back up, and I think we're going to. Okay, very good. Well, uh, those are a couple of things I certainly want to ask you about. A- anything else we need to mention while we have some time here? I mean, I'd just uh, ask anyone who uh, is listening to please support these local businesses that are that are taking their personal financial risk in opening a business and. People say there's nothing to do or nowhere to shop or nowhere to eat. Well, that we're opening all all of those in the next or in the last week, two weeks, and in the next month. So they can only make it if people support them here and here locally and don't go out of town to do the things that you can do here. Well said. Yeah, yeah. Local um, supporting our local businesses um, is just a win-win for everyone. And there's so many that have been here for years, and we don't need to forget them for sure. And then uh, the new ones that are opening up, uh, make sure that they know we are glad to welcome them to our city. That's for sure. Okay. Well, thank you, Mayor. I appreciate it. And uh, always good to talk to you. And I hope you have a good weekend, and we'll talk again soon. Yeah, I hope we talk real soon, Mike. Okay. All right. Thank you, Mayor. Bye. Bye Bye-bye. That's the Mayor of Eden, uh, Neville Hall, And uh, if you need more information, you can uh, find that several different ways on the website, EdenNC.us, EdenNC.us. And then uh, we want to check out the Facebook uh, page for Explore Eden NC, Explore Eden NC. And uh, reference there, the mayor uh, made at the end, talking real soon, uh, looking for an announcement, um, economic development announcement, um, uh, perhaps next week. So uh, we'll stay tuned for that. And I'm Mike Moore. Thank you for tuning in.